Hello, this is Father Fish. I'm going to talk with you today about Elisoma evergladei, one of the pygmy sunfish, so called, that live here in Florida, ranging up oh, into the Carolinas and around the coast through Arkansas into Mississippi probably in Texas. They are a freshwater species occurring not in brackish but in freshwater and typically in in a very shallow water although they are occasionally found in rivers. I find it most commonly and collect it most commonly as a ditch fish. In other words, a fish collected in very shallow water. So let's take a look at these guys. They are stunning. About an inch and a quarter long, no bigger, with iridescent blue. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Gorgeous colors. The colors vary enormously. All the way from, well, let's look at some of the variations. This is more like what I usually find, I'm afraid to say. But there is just a tremendous variety. So much so that there's been some discussion that they may, in fact, be subspecies. So far, they're all categorized as, as one. There are, however, others. There's an Elisoma okafinoki that ranges a little further north. Their territory overlaps somewhat here in Florida. I've caught both okafinoki and Evergladei in the same water um, south of Fort Myers on the way on the way to uh, to Boca. And you can see the amazing variety. Now, the lighter color is typically female. So this, for example, is likely a female. This I don't know about. I've never seen one quite that light colored. They're more commonly like this guy. Just a very very pretty and a very tiny little fish. They only got about an inch long, if an inch. I've never seen one bigger than that. I've been told they they get like an inch and a quarter, but not in my experience. Here's a, a likely female. Here's a better example of a female. And another, a female ready to spawn. And this a more common, more common looking male. So just amazing stuff. The um, Elisomi Evergladei, common name pygmy sunfish. It ranges up to one and a quarter inches, it says here. More commonly at, at uh, well, they say 0.09 inches. That would be 0.9 inches, not 0.09. <laughs> Minimum tank size, five gallon per group. Habitat, North America, Cape Fear River drainage in North Carolina to Mobile Bay in Alabama, south in Florida to the northern edge of the Everglades. Diet carnivorous, lead, needs live foods. It will not take flake food. Uh, Elisoma, Elisoma Everglades is a native to coastal drainage in the southeastern United States. This benthic species is a predator on worms, crustaceans, and insect larvae and lives in sluggish waters. It is present in the aquarium trade in the U.S. and Europe, but rare. 
It's an ideal fish for the nano or planted aquarium as it can be bred in the aquarium, especially in species only tanks. So there is, I want to show you where I find these guys. This is a ditch that runs on either side of the road in central Florida, somewhere in central Florida. It is spring fed. You can see the water is flowing. That's what the sparkling is. Uh, this is no deeper than six inches at its depth. This particular spot uh, is spring fed and runs about 200 yards on either side of the road as roadside ditch, as a roadside ditch or ditches, one on each side. They are basically the same. This one is where the water is flowing in most vigorously. It is more shallow. You can see all the little fish. They're Gambusi, Formosa, and Green Self and Mollies, primarily swimming in here. Now, this is how I collect these guys. I put the net up close to shore, right along the edge of the bank, because they're in the shallowest of water. And then I frighten them into the net. I have a little poker there just splash around with. And then look very carefully to try to find one. And there's a the little female. Sure enough, a little brown fish. There she is. That's as tiny as they are. Show you a little more of this collecting technique. You have to look very carefully because they, uh, they're not easy to spot usually. Until you get used to it, and then I can pick the net up and know instantly if I have any because their behavior is unique. They flop in a very particular way. Those are little gamboozy, probably. What do we got there? Don't know. Let's see. Am I going to show it? I guess not. Probably uh, gamboozy. Thought it might have been a Formosa. So again, right up to the edge. Splash to frighten them into the net. They dart very quickly. So it's pretty easy to do this. If they're around, you'll get them. This is the technique that I find most, most useful. Most, most effective. And then you have to kind of look through the muck and the grass and the whatnot, see if there's anything in there. There are a lot of little crayfish in this particular spot. There's something hopping around there. Yeah, there he is, sure enough. And, and so it goes, I do this. I can tolerate it. My my legs can tolerate it for about a half an hour at a crack. And then I just wear out. And you can almost see I'm pushing the net down there to make sure they go into it. Not likely to have anything on that one. I think I scared them out if they were in there. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Give it one more shot here. My cameraman's got her finger in the way. And uh, Florida Fish Rescue, Mike and his cousin came with me on this trip, and they were kind enough to uh, act as cameraman so we could get these peculiar videos. Well, there's that. 
So that's the technique for catching these little guys. I have a few in a tank here. I don't know if we'll really be able to see them, but let's try. And I can get the tank over to them, whether I can, uh, whether we can spot anything remains to be seen. Let's see. I see one right down, right down there. It's not moving. I think it is. Oh, yes. That's a male. And in back of him, about three inches further out, looks like a female. Now he's kind of washed out. There he is. Not colored up. He's not in breeding form. There's a little tiny one moving along the bottom. See if we can stop anything else. That is a, uh, these are little male gambusi uh, that, that are um, melanistic and black. I, can, I caught those at the same place. I don't like to keep gambusi, but the melanistic are just way too cold to let go of. There's one, a little Elisoma hanging in the water cup. If you can see again, the more over here. I've got a, that uh, larger fish back there is a female Formosa. So, there we have it. So, Elisoma Everglade-Eye. Absolutely delightful little fish. I do have them available. Uh, I've got enough now to be able to get them into some hobbyist tanks. They are an ideal nano fish. They're tiny. They stay tiny. Um, they don't like to be with other fish. So if you're going to do them, make sure they're with something peaceful uh, or preferably by themselves. They will spawn. Their babies are virtually microscopic. So you will need paramecium uh, as a, an initial food for them. So Elisoma, Elisoma everglandi. There we go. Thank you very much.